inside our broadcast booth at Miller Park alongside Bill Schroeder. I'm Matt LaPay. Sophia Minard is our reporter. Well, Rock, we've been talking about it long enough, and now it finally happened. This offense for the Brewers coming alive. Nine runs Friday night, seven last night, and they're hitting the long ball the way I think a lot of people thought that they could. Yeah, by the way, great call. <laughs> it was a fun moment. I got, I got a lot of text <laughs> messages complimenting you on that call. That was outstanding. Good job on that. But, uh, you know, Craig Council has been waiting for, you know, this offense to click. And uh, the big guys really haven't gotten it going. But they're showing signs of snapping out of a little bit. 16 runs in the first two games of this series. And, you know, the encouraging thing is a lot of two-out lightning. I mean, 11 of those 16 runs have come with two outs and those are both backbreakers for a pitcher they're thinking they're going to be able to get out of an inning seven hits seven home runs so far providing you know, accounting for 10 rbis six different hitters you know with those seven home runs so it's not just one or two guys everybody really contributing guys getting on base the brewers uh you know four to 13 runners in scoring position that could be a little bit better but seven rbis in those uh, run, runners in scoring position numbers all right a lot of options to choose from here the brewers hitting it hard in the first two games of this series coming up we'll tell you our view of it's weird to describe. I got to go out and do my job tomorrow and focus on that. But then, I mean, right after that, I'm headed home. So, um, no matter, I guess, no matter how to, tomorrow goes, I'm going to be excited either way. So, um, yeah, it's been weird. Uh, just, I mean, I don't know if it's quite hit me yet that I'm about to have a, a child in essentially two or three days. So, um, it's going to be going to be fun for sure. But. Uh, yeah, I still have to focus in and, and still do the same work I've done, you know, as long as I've been pitching and just go out there and focus and try to make pitches tomorrow. Yeah, has his job right now. And then the big life thing coming up in a couple of days, Rock. Uh, yeah, a lot going on. I mean, a lot of players go through it. But, uh, you know, Brandon Woodruff is right in the teeth of it. He's going to go home tomorrow. And hopefully he's going to come home after a good start here today. All right, Sophia told you the numbers the last time he faced the Pirates at the end of July. Just outstanding. Good outing earlier in the week, or earlier last week against Cincinnati. Six innings of four hit, two run ball as the Brewers tried to make it three straight here against the Pirates. Well, yesterday, you, I mean, you always nail it. But then Brewers bunch right now offensively. We'll see if that carries over to today. But Pirates. First up here at Miller Park, let's check out the batting order presented by Hyundai. Eric, Eric Gonzalez, Adam Frazier, Kevin Newman at the top. Josh Bell hits cleanup. Gregory Polanco, Colt Tucker, JT Riddle, John Ryan Murphy behind the plate. Jason Martin out in center, and that is the starting nine here for the Pirates on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. This wraparound series takes us through tomorrow night ahead of the St. Louis Cardinals. Here's the Brewers batting order presented by Hyundai. Luis Urias for the third straight day at the top of the order. Yelich and Jerko 2-3. Braun, Hira, Matthias in the middle. Arcia, Gamble, and Nottingham rounding out the Brewers starting nine against the lefty Stephen Brault. They got roughed up his last time out. You know, Brault only lasted three innings. A lot of walks, four walks in three innings. High pitch count.